So here is the chin shui tang boba milk tea. This is the original of the original. So today, it's another beautiful day in Taiwan, and I want to show you a little bit of a tour around the city. I'm here in front of the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial, and I actually used the uh, train for the first time. There's a train that leads you straight up here, and it's just a beautiful building that you can look at. We're also going to be checking out the original boba shop of Taiwan as well, so can't wait to show you guys. Let's go inside and check it out, look around, and have fun. This building, this is actually really cool. Look at that building. That's so cool. The architecture here is amazing. Ooh, and there's a second building that's just as big. Wow. And apparently inside here, there's like a national theater or something. You can get tickets and go inside. But the sky is so blue right now. It's so pretty. That is, but that building looks really freaking cool. <laughs> this is also part, this is the building we were just at. And to the right, it was that. And this is on right above it. And then those are like the blue gates. That's a really cool building, actually. So mesmerized by this building. We're gonna be going up these stairs. It actually looks so much bigger. Somebody's in there yelling. <laughs> That's cute. <sighs> get some cardio in. Some aerobics. Once you get up close, it looks so much bigger. It's so awesome. And then there's like a pattern in the middle too. I don't know what this is supposed to be, but it's really cool. Made it to the top. There's a lot of people like gathered here. I don't know what's going on. Let's go take a look. What's happening here? Oh, oh, it's a, like a statue. What is that? That's cool. But that's what they're looking at. That's cool. guys wow when you stand up here you get a great view of the entire garden okay this is so beautiful this oh my god there's a beautiful little like river pond oh this is so pretty dude i like anything with water it's just so peaceful look that's so cute it's a frog oh my god it's a frog <laughs> so cute look somebody's feeding the fish look there's a bird there just watching all the fish okay that's so cute Oh my god! Yo, that, that bird just- oh my god! What's going on? And it's inside the Chiang Kai-shek building, there is Chun Sui Tang, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. This is where it originated the first boba shop in Taiwan. So we're here, this is the place, it looks like that. A world original pearl milk tea. So, let's go inside and check it out. Just got sat down and they gave you a menu. There's English on here as well. So, I just checked the ones I want. Take this up to the cashier and they'll bring all the food to me once it's ready. So, this is what I ended up going with. Of course, we're going to get the creative pearl milk tea. I'm going to try that out. Then, I also wanted to try out one of their hot tea. This is the Jinxuan Oolong Cha, which is a hot tea and then I also want to try the regular green tea to see the quality of their jasmine green tea as well and for food I'm gonna try out one of their barbecue pork rice bowls and also a beef noodle oh, soup yeah. right here braised beef noodles. Here's the spread this looks incredible let's try this out that beef stew smells so good and this is the massive boba cups original boba can't wait to try it all right guys so the first thing I want to try is this Jingxuan oolong cha so Jingxuan is a type of oolong tea it comes with like like really delicate dishes like this. Let's try it out. That is so good. I love like super rich flavored tea leaves oolong tea. This is so good. And I love these cups. And the way they like give it to you is so cool. So they have a teacup, a little pot to kind of let it cool down. And then of course the teacup to drink out of. That is so good. It's so rich. Yeah, that is amazing. Mm. Yeah, I love this. This is what I mean when I say I want to drink tea. I want a really heavy tea flavor tea. So here is the Chin Shui Tang Boba Milk Tea. This is the original of the original. And the straw that they give you, it's not as big as most boba straws. Let's try this out.
Wow. The drink itself is very like creamy. It's almost latte-ish. But I'm, I'm a little disappointed with the boba claw. It's not as chewy and it's not as big as the boba I'm used to. Mm. But the drink itself is very creamy and very milky. It almost tastes like a milk tea latte rather than milk tea boba drink. Mm. Overall, I give it an 8 out of 10. This one is the original jasmine green tea. Oh, oh, this is very good. Oh, I could chug this so fast. Oh, this is actually really good, really refreshing. Just like the uh, Jingshui Wulong Tai I had earlier, the tea flavor in their drinks is very strong. And I really appreciate that. I got three, four sugar on this, and it's just the perfect amount of sugarness, and it's just so refreshing. Oh, wow, that is so good. Mm. Yum. Let's try our menu items. This one is the uh, barbecue donburi, which is the like spicy pork rice bowl. Ooh, it also comes with like, a little herbal soup here. Look at that, that's really cool. Ooh. Okay, let me get that spoon. Let's try the soup first. Ooh, very herbally. Very light. It's actually a lot less oily than I thought it'd be. Okay, let's try this bowl out. Yeah. Try this very good. Mmm. Oh, it's a bit spicy. Let's try out the vegetable. <clears throat> this is all right. This isn't something very typical you find in a Taiwanese boba shop. It's actually something different. I don't really see this kind of stuff in a, a Taiwanese boba shop menu. I just want to try it out. There's also a little vegetable side dish. It's all right. Honestly, for a boba shop, I get this like a six out of ten. It's not, it's not really like the best, but it's okay. It's pretty healthy though. It's got a lot of vegetables. It's got a nice soup, and it's not bad. Not bad. The second dish I got is the beef stew noodle. Now this is a very typical Taiwanese dish, so I hope this one is good. This is typically served with some of their sour pickled cabbages. Let's try this. Looks promising. Noodle texture looks pretty good. Smells really amazing. Mmm, noodles not bad. That's beef. Mmm. Oh, oh the, the broth is spot on. It's got that signature like Harmony's beef noodle, like somewhat sour, savory broth. And it's not too oily. Wow. I like this a lot. Let's take a bite with some of the pickled vegetables. Mm. That's good. It's like a little palate cleanser for all the uh, heavy beef broth. I'm still really in love with this ginseng oolong sa though. I love good hot tea so much. <sighs> Delicious. <laughs> so that was my experience here at Sun Sui Tang. So I don't think it was really all that great, especially there was a big letdown, the fact that it didn't have any popcorn chicken. And whenever I go to a boba shop, you know, you always go and get that iconic boba and popcorn chicken combo or maybe I'm just too American and I'm so used to that. Maybe that's not a thing here in Taiwan, but I was just very sad there wasn't any fried foods to go along with the boba. And I was very let down by the boba quality, but the drink quality of everything was very delicious. So very strong tea flavor in all their drinks. That's what I really like, but the food is meh. I would maybe go here just to try out the boba milk tea and that's it, not really anything else. So 
Um, definitely really cool and checking out the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial is very beautiful, very good pictures. So definitely a good spot to just check out if you come to Taiwan, check out the memorial and trying out their boba. But overall the food, just walk outside and go to a night market, it's so much better. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys are enjoying the adventures here in Taiwan. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye! This is a must place see in Taiwan if you guys ever get a chance to visit. This is the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. It is right off the train station so it's super easy to get to. There are some very magnificent buildings here and it is just so fun to walk around and so peaceful. And of course the views are beautiful and inside this river there's a whole bunch of different little fishies. I found this bird just chilling so that was really cute. Inside the Memorial Hall there is also a location of Chun Sui Tang and Chun Sui Tang is supposedly the original boba milk tea so of course I got a little bit thirsty walking around and the menu is also in English so it's very easy to just see what you want to order I got a few different teas and some food items started off with the Jinshun oolong tea and I love very heavy oolong teas and that was so good the milk tea boba was honestly a little bit let down because I didn't like the size of the boba it was smaller than normal and it wasn't as chewy or tender the jasmine green tea was very delicious though this was my favorite and i personally wouldn't get the food here it was like kind of whatever but yeah you can check out the full youtube video but it was definitely worth so this is supposedly the original boba shop of taiwan this is twin sui tang and this is their original boba milk tea so this is og supposedly i can't wait to try this out get one of their boba straws oh their boba straws are also like smaller than what i'm used to it's like medium size it's not as big It's like a medium sized boba straw. It's not that big. Huh, okay. Try it. Mix it around. Alright, here we go. Mm. Oh, it's very milky. Okay. I love, love, love the drink a lot. It's super milky. And I got a 3-4 sugar, so it's not too sweet. But I am a little bit disappointed in the boba. Because, you know, you can tell from the straw size, the boba's not as big as a normal boba. And it's not as chewy. It's not as tender. But the drink itself, very creamy, very delicious. I like the drink. I would like to drink so much more without the boba.